So let's talk like energy. I have this term, deja vu dating, that I coined to describe the relationships and the pattern of relationships that so many of my clients find themselves caught up in. You know, the same partner, same problems come up with each partner, but they all have a different face so that you can tell them apart. Does that sound a little bit familiar? And then after relationship, after relationship fails, you start thinking, well, you know what, damn it, there just aren't any good men out here. Or all the good women are taken. Or I'm just too successful and they can't deal with me. Or I don't have enough and they don't want me. Or whatever it is, whatever it is that makes you feel better and explains to yourself why you can't seem to have the kind of relationship that you want, one that's fulfilling and one that's sustaining. Well, here's the thing. Those, those rationales, those ideas that you have, they're part of the problem because they're limiting the way that you think about your world and how you can move around in it. And the other thing you're not considering as you decide, you know what, maybe I'm just not supposed to have love is that you're not considering the law of attraction. That very law that says like energy attracts like energy. In other words, the energy you put out is the energy you get back every single time without fail. So, okay, I know you're saying to yourself, um, no, not true, because every relationship I have had, has been they have been a liar and a cheat every single relationship and I don't lie and I don't cheat so you show me where the like energy is let's connect those dots well the problem is you're getting caught up in the behavior not the root energy but the behavior and because their behavior doesn't match your behavior you're saying we're not alike I don't believe you well look think about this someone who lies consistently and finds the need to go outside of their relationship to find validation and appreciation and all that kind of stuff when they have it at home, I would say they might have some issues about their worth, what they deserve, insecurities, right? I mean, we can just guess that. And someone who is honest and doesn't cheat, but is at home waiting and excusing that behavior, enabling it, if you will, they might have some issues about worth and feeling secure about themselves and confident in themselves because if they didn't would they allow that behavior to happen would they stay in that kind of relationship like energy attracts like energy and so what are the things that we do when you come to soul innovations to improve your love and relationship life is to look at what are the root energies you are putting out that you are attracting back and we find those root energies, we transform them into the positive energies that have everything to do with self-love and self-worth and confidence and honor. all those amazing things that you have within you. You just gotta find them and we'll help you do that. And then you align your energies with the energies out there that are the same. So you use your manifesting skills that you've been using all along to create the relationships that are not fulfilling to you. Align your energy and use those same skills to, to attract the energy that you do want so that you can have not only the relationship that you desire, but the one that you deserve. So get in touch and we can talk about how we can change and transform your energy into the love and the light that you want. And until then, remember, you are love and you are love.